Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. Paratici with a worldwide ban. <laughs> That's how I'm going to start this. Paratici with a worldwide ban. I am Sava from Football Heritage TV, and I'm going to tell you why, in my opinion, and all my opinions are just mine, nobody else's, why this is a good thing for Tottenham Hotspur. I think, personally, that Paratici has done an absolutely dreadful job as director of football. He hasn't addressed any of the key areas that we would need in terms of creativity, in terms of centre-backs, the wing-backs. I mean, you've got a wing-back, a doji, that's here for next year, but what about for this year? he got us a 33-year-old that can't defend and can't run anymore. Um, you know, Porro took until the last day of the window this, this January to get him in. He got his three best signings, Bentoncourt, Kulisewski and Romero. OK, Kulisewski's been crap this year. Let's call it for what it is. Let's be really honest. Bentoncourt unluckily got injured and Romero's been hit and miss. So let's call it for what it is. His three best signings to date have been through links at Juventus, his old club. Other than that, the likes of Galini coming in, the likes of Emerson Royal coming in, Brian Hill, who doesn't play, Saar, who doesn't play, Spence, who's gone on loan, Richarlison. It's just been, you know, uh, Dan Juma, who doesn't play. It's just been poor signing after poor signing after poor signing. For me, it's untenable for this guy to be here. I think he's absolutely dreadful. And the fact now, first of all, it was an Italian ban. Now it's a worldwide ban. What would the man be doing? What would Paratici be doing if he was at Tottenham? He's got a worldwide ban. So look, Daniel Levy isn't, uh, isn't, isn't my most favourite person. But for me, I'd respect him a lot more now. He's got rid of Conte. And now get rid of Paratici. And let's have some sort of a mini reset. It might not be the master reset that lots of us crave. With the owners going as well. But it's a mini reset. With two of the main men at the football club. The manager and the director of football. Both coming in, both at the same time, both having discussions about what should the footballing ethos, pathway, strategy, roadmap, plan, whatever word you want to use, what does that look like? Can they implement it together? Can they start on the same journey, be on the same page as to what players they want, where, the, where they see the team in one year, three years, five years? then communicate to the club, this is our plan, this is where we're going. And I think they might start to get some buyback from people that are thoroughly fed up with this football club. There is no plan at the moment. So for me, this is perfect timing. There's been lots of people that, that rate Paratici. They think he's done a great job. Listen, for me, yes, when Kulisewski and Benton Court came in, it got us top four. But other than that, he's made 17 signings. And what's he done with that? So for me, this is perfect timing. Daniel Levy, you're in sacking mode. right? You've already sacked one person this week. Sack this fraud. Get somebody else into the club. Because this is absolutely useless what's going on at the moment. We've got no manager. We've got a director of football who's banned from, from worldwide activities. Come on, Daniel. Come on, Mr Levy. Do the right thing. Let me know what you think. For me, this is a simple one. I'm not going to go on. It's a simple one. Let's have a master reset, manager and director of football, and let's create a plan moving forward. So I'm going to ask you a question. Which manager do you want? Which director of football do you want? Which two would work well together and why? And while you're at it, please like, please subscribe, and let's get some hashtags trending. Hashtag voice for Spurs and hashtag change for Spurs. We've got over 32 YouTubers now. 32 different Spurs YouTubers all in one group having discussions on what a change movement could look like and what we can do. Watch this space. I won't give too much away. Hopefully we can all come to a, a conclusion that we like, but it's positive. These are positive steps from the YouTube channels. Hopefully that can resonate into the fans. So much love. Watch this space and keep those hashtags going. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.